Hello again from Saranda, Albania. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous day. Not bad for February, can't complain at all. It's been like this almost every single day. Keep in mind, Saranda gets 300 days of summer per year. So that's pretty amazing. Um, the reason I'm making this video is when I was making the video warning of Americans uh, that they can no longer stay for one year visa free and that they were lumped into, well, the rest of the world, pretty much, um, that it only gets 90 days, um, I noticed something on the US Embassy. The US Embassy says that Albania is super dangerous and that they have a do not travel advisory for this country. In the United States, uh, they provide advisory notices for each country. Uh, level one is exercise normal precautions. Number two is exercise increase, increased cautions. And number three, reconsider travel. And then number four, which is red, do not travel. As you can see from our other videos, we traveled all over Albania. We had nothing but the best time. Everyone was warm, friendly. You know, those that you think might not be very warm, it's just because they don't understand English and so they're not going to engage. But otherwise, there's nothing, nothing we've seen, nothing that we've felt um, to ever feel like anything was dangerous here, that crime was high or anything like that. What they list as their reasons for do not travel was due to COVID-19, which let's be honest, that's everywhere, all over the world. This place hasn't been impacted as much as some might think. Um, yeah, we saw people when they were uh, going through it and coughing and being sick and being quarantined and that kind of thing and back at their home. But otherwise, you know, we, we live right by the hospital. We have a good idea that most people have had it or have had the vaccine and still had it. You know, it's, you know, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not gonna talk about anything specific, but I am gonna tell you that you can just check the stats for yourself, see the numbers, and see that it's pretty much just like anywhere else. And the other part was crime, due to crime. And I was really confused by that because, as you can see, take a look at these stats. Now you can see from those stats that uh, it certainly doesn't seem like it's safer in America than it is in Albania. And I have traveled all over the United States and I've been in some very dangerous situations just by going to a store or a market or something like that and uh, not felt very safe. So you can see how this might shock me quite a bit. Um, then if you dig into it deeper, they say due to crime, found in a town called Lazarat. I may be pronouncing it wrong, I don't know. And so I had to do some digging and I started asking everybody I knew around here. And everybody's like, what? That was like six years ago, seven years ago. Apparently a bunch of marijuana cultivation was going on there. The whole town prospered from it. And so they were trying to keep the police from shutting it down, that kind of thing. And there was a massive raid, 800 police, heavily armed and they shut it down, burned all the ca cannabis plants and uh, heightened security afterwards. And we remember driving through the village, seemed like a very pleasant village to us. Does that mean that somebody in the mountains is not still growing? Maybe, I don't know, how would I know? But I can tell you that you can't say the same 
for many other countries. You could find a spot in the United States, you could find a spot in Canada or whatever, where there might be an element. But to make the whole country because of a small village uh, considered dangerous because of crime is unbelievable. <laughs> I don't know what to make of it. Except, and I don't know this obviously, I wouldn't have a clue. It makes me think that maybe because of January 7th, Americans no longer got their one year uh, visa free, that later, two weeks later, the US government says, oh yeah, okay, we're gonna flag you as a dangerous country, country to travel to. So maybe it's just politics playing politics. And uh, we all know that's certainly possible. So I'm not sure what to make of all this. I'd love to hear other people's reactions to their time here in Albania. What do you think about all this? To me, this has been paradise. And uh, if we weren't dead set on going to the Philippines, this would be a place that we would stay. Uh, we find this place to be incredible, incredible. And very cost affordable on top of that, like which is really hard to find. Normally cost affordability and uh, this level of safety just doesn't go hand in hand. So it's, uh, it's incredible to us that this even exists. And I don't know, I don't know what to make of it, but apparently it's supposed to be a dangerous place to travel to, according to the U.S. Embassy. The absolute only thing I can think of where people should be aware, and that is the curfew. The curfew here is 11 p.m. It's not a suggestion. It used to be a suggestion-ish, um, but now it's hardcore. Yes, we have a new chief of police for the area that's been told that uh, it has to be, has to be enforced. And so come 11 p.m., police are on every street. Every 15 minutes, you're gonna run by a cop coming around and uh, they do not want you out of your house. So do keep that in mind if you are considering here. That That is the case here. A lot of cars going by me right now. Um, so yeah, 11 p.m., it's hardcore. Everything must be closed. You must be in your home. And if you uh, have a job or something and you're coming home from work, that's fine. But that's about it. Or if you're going to the hospital or something like that, of course. But that's a bit all I can think of. And uh, clearly that's probably in support of, of lower crime than higher crime because uh, nothing can take place. There's no fist fights at clubs or anything like that. Nobody getting too drunk and yeah, I don't know. And it doesn't seem like uh, anybody's interested in ending it. So it's probably going to stay that way. They might extend it again in the summer to midnight, but uh, yeah, I don't know. From everybody I talked to, they're all saying, now nah, they're probably not gonna get rid of it for a long time. So we'll see. Try to play it, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me